Ahoy! Today is October 2nd, 2012. Wait, 2012. 2012. 2012. Um, and today's special because um, tomorrow is German uh, Unity Day or Reunification Day, as some people call it when I guess the National Assembly was reformed after the fall of the wall um, in 89. I just read this up on Wikipedia because I wasn't sure what it was about exactly. I knew it had something to do with the fall of the wall and the East and the West joining together again. But officially, it's because I guess all the parties got together and were like, yeah, we're a government again, officially. Anyway, so... To celebrate um, my day off tomorrow, not necessarily reunification, I went to I went for a walk. I went uh, instead of just boning home as usual and watching Breaking Bad and you know that kind of thing. I went for a walk around where I'm going to be living pretty soon, and um, on the way got some snacks and sat by the river to read um, a book. Well, the river, the canal, one of the canals, um, and I got some snacks and ate a lot of them and um, bought some beers that came in plastic containers with a screw top, conveniently re-screwable in case you're a lightweight and can't drink one of these boys in one sip. Which is not my case. Anyway, um, so a little buzzed from just one beer. Mm, waking up early, plus maybe harboring some kind of sickness. Anyway, um, I still have another one left, though. Loops up his. In the meantime, oh, phone. Check. I'm gonna recheck for now. Just because I'm busy. Um. Yeah, I ate a lot of this snack, which I, I, I was lucky enough to stumble upon. Yeah, I got it. Um, um, yeah, from our friends at Krusty Croc, who are always, who never disappoint, uh, I got these Fortzig Snack Me, which are just amazing. They're basically, I don't know if you can see on the package, but they're a bunch of things, and they're, I didn't even notice the drawing, but I guess pretty obvious, India. Um, so basically, there's like three or four different, it's like candy, if you remember them. Um, I have like, I'll sort of show you a sample of these. So you have, uh, I think that's it. Oh, this is it. Okay. Okay, so you have a, I think this is curry flavored um, corn based thing. So they're all kind of sweet. Um, this shape of, yeah, definitely curry powder. Um, the shape of this is more of a tandoori chicken thing, I guess. Same as the other one, but orange. This one's a bit more. Yeah, it doesn't taste like much. And then you have these guys. I don't know if they're actually supposed to be different colors, but a light orange and a darker orange. And these contain peanuts. But the, um, the shell is kind of like, it's kind of like an M&M when you like take off the powder off of it. It's like pretty smooth. But then it's this really hard shell. Well, not really hard, but really crunchy. It kind of feels like Maltesers or something. 
yeah, and then there's a tiny peanut inside. But they are, I don't know, just so satisfying. <coughs> and just the right, right amount of spice. That's just me choking. But, also, they come in this convenient packaging, which is rippled all the way down. You can just rip it wherever. Like, if you want to be like, I don't want most of this, and you just rip it there, and then most of the 125 grams of the snack just falls out, and you don't need to eat it. So, convenient. <clears throat> but, what first caught my eye is this one, which I haven't tasted yet. <clears throat> I'm going to need a sip of beer now. I'd expect the uh, foam out of the side now it tastes like plastic and this is a store that I live in. I don't know why I put that back on. Obviously didn't drink it. Um yeah, these guys. Which obviously I got just for the name. Mild crack me. The other one being snack me. This one is crack. So, uh, more Japan themed. Wasn't sure at first if it was a Chinese temple or a, oh yeah, Japanese. You can see there's like some seaweed around some of them. So, find out. Five trip reviews in one. This is amazing. Damn. What? Yeah, there's way too much stuff. They went crazy. Uh, just trying to find the last one. Should be here somewhere. Come on. Come on. Hello. Okay. I guess they were pretty cheap on these guys, the seaweed ones. They're probably more expensive and more complicated to make. So, good job. I don't know if a robot made that or a person, but... Okay, there's like eight different types of snacks in here. This is ridiculous. Okay, so there's this thing. This case uh, smells like soy and, you know... Hmm. Has a peanut inside. This is a similar texture to the Indian one. Okay. Now this, I think this is might be the same thing, just a different shape, but it's got some green in there. And it's um Yeah, it's got a peanut. It's kind of sweet, not particularly distinct for these Japanese, which is a kind of little flat cookie thing, salty, kind of seaweedy. I just found another one in the meantime. Okay. And this guy, which also contains a peanut. Mmm. Tastes like peanuts and sweetness. They're not as distinct as the other guys. But maybe 
a bit less um, nausea inducing. This one's got sesame seeds on it. I'm guessing it's going to taste like sesame. Show enough. Okay, then there's this oddly misshaped thing that smells like soy. Mmm. This is nice. It kind of has a similar texture to like amaretto cookies in a way. I guess maybe because they're fried. Are amaretto cookies fried? I don't know. Good. Okay. Another peanut one. I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the other guys. Mm. Yeah, just sweet. So far, the soy flavored one are my favorite. Soy with like, I guess this is black seaweed or something. Got a little bit of a mm, yeah, can't tell what else is in there. And last but not least, this is actually really nice because sometimes you'll eat like seaweed crisps on their own or um, seaweed with like fish or in soup or. But something crispy, seaweed on it. Once again, excellent job, Krusty Croc. Snack me and crack me are lecker.